You were saying before about banning words. What about the f- flip side? Insisting words get used. The classic example is the Jordan Peterson in, the, in Canada when it was, I mean, I might be paraphrasing poorly, but basically to use incorrect pronouns for someone was going to be a crime. Mm. And this is focusing on the transgender community. Mm-hmm. And Jordan Peterson was saying, actually, no, I've, it's, he's a difficult man to understand yeah. because I've seen him say two different things. I've seen him say, if one of my students asks me to use a pronoun, I use it. And I've seen him say, if one of my students asks me to use a pronoun, I don't use it. Um, I've only heard him say the first one, but I, you know, I'm certainly not across uh, Jordan Peterson's entire but, output. Yeah, but what I try and do is I try and take the same situation and put it in a different context. So here in New Zealand... You know, we call it New Zealand. We also call it Aotearoa. Mm. So if the government said from now on calling New Zealand was a crime, if you didn't use the word Aotearoa, you're committing a crime, people would be in an uproar. Everyone would be. But because it was involving the transgender community and there are some very there are some sensitivity issues here at the moment, you know, for good reason, mm-hmm. it seemed to go much further. And the other thing that's unfortunate is that it, because it was involving the transgender community, for him, I believe, that then he got a lot of support from areas of society which are pretty much we all want to believe are not there, mm. talking about the alt-right and the far right mm. and the, you know, those sorts of guys as well. But that was a government doing the opposite of banning words. That was a government saying you must use these words. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's a bit of both because on the one hand they're banning you from using the wrong pronoun and, yeah, I guess and so. mandating you have to use the correct one. Um, but... Yeah, that's that's right. I mean, and Peterson, I take it Peterson. Look, I'm not a Jordan Peterson expert. I take it his his claim, at least now, is that what he was standing up for is not not that he wanted to misgender people, but that he felt that the government had no business legislating that. Had no. He, he always, I think, talks about enforced speech. Mm. So a government can't. And he was, I think, again, I'm not an expert, um, but I do listen to a lot of podcasts, and he is around mm. a fair bit. Um, the government can ban language. He didn't seem to have such a problem with that, but a government nowhere in the world can enforce language, and that was the that was the difference. And I think without the attachment to the to the group he's talking about on this issue, the transgender movement, without the attachment to that group, just that statement by itself, I think most people would go, "Yeah, I think that's pretty fair." But then when you bring in the examples of the community we're talking about, that's when it blows up. Yeah, that's right. And the I'm going to take it the the guiding idea here, and with a lot of this stuff, is the idea that uh, transgender people are harmed in some real way yeah. by being misgendered. Yeah, that that's a real problem, and therefore the government is, you know, within its rights to to compel people not to do that because it, they're protecting. Yeah, sure. That group of people. 